All right, all of our instruments are now dialed in, but we still haven't checked out one other member of the Flesh cast, and that's the effects guy, or the delay. I'll go ahead and click on the icon to get inside. Now that I'm in, you'll notice that there are three dots that are very similar to the mixer channels in the main page. And in fact, the same three channels in the mixer also have the little sub dots or sends, which send over to the effects return, which is one big echo. Let's go ahead and check it out now. I'm going to pull back the sends all the way and I'll introduce a little bit of the echo on the sample player. Let me go ahead and boost the effect output or mixer channel. And like all the other flesh instruments, there are different presets. And high and low frequencies also cause the effects to jump and do some very interesting things, just like the synthesizers. Yeah, bring in some mono synth. When you start tweaking like the spectrum knob and the character knob, and then you go ahead and start adding in macro control knob modulation of the whole thing, you can start creating new sections in the song by adjusting like the length and create some really incredible moments in a performance. I'll go ahead and pull the effects return back a little bit so it doesn't sound like it's all running out of a trash can. Now, there's one thing that's really neat to hear, and that's the effects section isolated. But there's really no way to do that within Flesh because it's the sends that cause it to sound that way. And if you turn the mixer channel down, of course, the effects return is not going to be receiving anything. But if you send the effects out its own individual channel, along with the other instruments, then you can start pumping it up and being able to take little snippets from it. Let me show you how to do this right now. Over in Ableton Live, I'm going to go ahead and press the tab button to go to the session view. And then in any old audio track, I'm going to set the input as reactor. And I'll go ahead and delete this track because I don't need it. Now I'll use the Command D shortcut to duplicate this track four times. So I've got four reactor fed tracks now. And from here, I can go ahead and start setting the inputs from reactors three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And once I've got them all set up, it only goes up to 11 and 12. Now I'll go ahead and start marking all of these new audio tracks as monitor in and disable that reactor main output. And you might note that the sub output is coming in on the left channel only. Got a fix for that. Come back to it in a minute. Now let's go ahead and start soloing these and labeling them. There's the sample player. And we got the polysynth. And you really want to do this because it can get a little confusing without it over time. Trust me on this. So we'll do the effects output. Here's how you we have it soloed now. And then there's the sub and its weird little left channel dilemma. So I'll go ahead and rename that. Now let's go over and get a utility. And we'll just zero out the width. And so now it's a monophonic instrument again. Bump it up a little with the game. Oh yeah, it's all there. 
Now I can solo the effects and have all sorts of weird fun. Let me show you what I mean in the next tutorial.